Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 2019, and I've been joined by Justin from Restoration Games. Hi, Hi Justin. <laughs> Justin, you brought a big box with you. This is not Fireball Island, this is an expansion to Fireball Island. That's correct. Right? Spider Springs. Spider Springs. Yes. Okay, well tell me about that, because this is we have the base game on the table, but we, I believe we also have the expansion material as well here, That's right? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So we launched uh, Fireball Island uh, just at the end of last year, and uh, when we did it, we had three expansions right at, uh, you know, at the launch. And uh, we learned a lot about what expansions work, what people like, what, what they don't okay. like. And so we sort of put it all together to that make sort of- kind of informed of, this one? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so we had the pirate ship and the old one, Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass, which is a separate plastic tray, but it was off to the side. And people thought it was cool, but they felt it felt disconnected. Or, um, you know, they liked, the things they liked was uh, more of the dexterity stuff, more yeah. of the chaos, yeah. uh, more of the kinetic action, yeah. right? So that was what we were looking to do. And Rob had this wild idea <laughs> Uh, originally it was a trampoline, but we, what we ended up doing was a spider launcher. So this is the only game that I know oh, of that has a spider launcher. Fan, it's, oh, this is yeah. the claim to fame. Okay. Exactly, right. and hence yeah. the name Spider Sprint. This will be terrifying to some people, I'm so sure. So this is a spring-loaded spider launcher. Okay. Theoretically, it's like some long-lost, uh, you know, ruin, uh, someone worshipped a spider god. I sure. don't know, we're yeah. not sure. The important thing is Ember Corp didn't know about it, and so now the people on the island have found this. Somehow they missed this whole yes, section exactly. of the island. <laughs> It was covered by brush, yeah, you know, okay. once they cleared sure. it away. So everybody's running around the island, and this actually slots right in. So if you have the original game, there's these holes on the side where right. the three trays meet. Yep. And there's a cardboard scrim. You just take the scrim out, and it just goes right in there, and it fits in Perfect. nicely. Seamless. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you can get to this part of the uh, this new expansion area through the uh, uh, caves. There's a one-two cave over here, okay. and there's, and there's a, three a one cave. here, so you can jump right. in from here. Okay, And got there's it. a three over there, I believe. Right, there um, is, yep. And so what this brings in, obviously, is spiders. And eggs. And spider eggs, yes. <laughs> okay. So, of course, spiders we don't like. No. Uh, and spider eggs are great, though. They're valuable, so okay. they're worth points at the end. Uh, and so what you'll do is you're going to make way over here. You can also, there is a snapshot. There's another unstable bridge over yeah. here. You can get a snapshot. This one's worth 10 points. Okay, this one here, yep. Yep, that's the Spider Springs 10-point snapshot. And there's actually even an extra way to get off the island. So at the end of the game, when the end game is triggered, normally the helicopter comes back and you can get to Way the over on this helipad, side. right? Yeah. But or, now, let's say you're stuck over here, you yeah. can get to the helipad, you can try and make your way to the submarine. Right. So the other cool thing about the submarine is when you get off the island on the helicopter, you take something from the maw, treasure from the maw. Right. You do not get to do that over here. You don't take anything from the gotcha. maw. What's interesting, though, is you'll see all the extra spiders start I do see in that. the maw. Yeah. Like, you know, a mall full of spiders, right. like you do. Nightmare fuel. Um, so yeah. if you get off the island and there's no treasures in the mall, you have to take a spider instead. Okay. So at the end of the game, spiders are basically minus one point. Right, right. The spider eggs, they're all the same. There's one big one that's just the tiebreaker. Whoever has the most, they're one point each, but then whoever yeah. has the most gets a 12-point bonus, so it can be a big thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but they're also constantly moving around, <laughs> and uh, you know, you're losing the, the eggs and whatnot. But of course, the real star of the show is the spider launcher. You're so killing me here. Let's, You're let's killing me. Action. <laughs> so the easiest way to launch spiders uh, is there's a little trigger there. There is an ember marble. So whenever yeah. you get a card that will let you launch an ember marble, yeah. you can launch it right from there. Go ahead. All right, all right, right. I've been waiting this whole time <laughs> just to do this. All right. Boom. All right. And so now it causes, obviously, like yes. everything in Fireball Island, causes yeah. a lot of chaos. So we reset. One of them didn't make it out. Yeah. Two of them ended up over here. They're going to stay there. Okay. And then this one ended up at least partially, which is good enough, in what we call the crevasse. Okay. And so what that means is you, as the person who did it, get to put it anywhere on the island. Nice. Okay. And the reason why you might do that is because let's say you put it right here. Right here on this. Uh, if you photo. ever yeah. enter a space with a spider, or a spider uh, moves on, onto you, or gets pushed onto you, or whatever, or at the start of your turn, there's a spider. You have to take it and put it on your card. And he said minus and then points, right? Minus one point okay. at the end of the game. So they're constantly getting all over the island, right. but, but that's not all. Oh. Okay. I and there's really more. think this is the greatest card in the history of board games. Okay. We have our arachnoclism. <laughs> so <laughs> some of you might know yeah. that we have uh, the um, uh, cataclysm cards from the base game, where you sure. take all the marbles in the scar and you drop them all through ball Super cards. Fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So you'll notice the first thing you do for the cataclysm is you drop four spiders into Volcar. So they actually fit into Volcar, and you. Whoop! I missed one there. They drop right in the hole there. Yeah. <laughs> this is well-engineered spiders, and then after you do that, I forgot to bring extra fireballs, but we'll take these. These will sure. work. Yeah. Then these get dropped in, and they start pushing spiders all over the island. Yeah. <laughs> really. And so, okay. Short, long story short, by yeah. the end of the game, spiders are everywhere. everywhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
And, uh, well, it's an eroticism. It just, of course. It, it just yeah. adds a lot of uh, zaniness, and which is what the game's really all about. Right. Um, that, that is, a I mean, few, yeah. a big core of this game is kind of the wacky fun, yeah. right? Like flicking that marble and hitting two or three people off the board you didn't sure. expect to, or things just exploding everywhere. It's, it's yeah. Our sort of watchword for this game has always been kinetic mayhem. Right. Uh, yeah. It's got to have a kinetic element, little chaos, and all that. We also have a couple of uh, some new uh, souvenirs, including my personal yeah. favorite is the, the Ember Gift Box, yeah. which is basically just a spider in a box. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> and a little spider repellent. Yes, just to get in rid case of you spider. don't care sure. for the spiders right. for some exactly. reason. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me. Uh, when is this going to be available? This is available at Gen Con if you oh, happen fantastic. to be here. Okay. Uh, it's forty dollars, by the way. And also, yeah. just in case it comes up, I do want to mention. Yes. It comes in a regular box. So this has been a topic of some contention. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a regular box. The original not the core game had box. more of a software yeah. cardboard, yeah, was, right? Uh, it was a corrugated cardboard that folded down. We thought it was kind of a fun homage. People didn't care for it. So some people certainly didn't. Right. So we said, let's just go back to regular box. Okay. So I should also here. mention, by the way, the next printing of Spider of uh, Fireball on base game will also be in a regular box. Okay. But in any case, forty dollars. Uh, it's available here, and it will be uh, street dating September eighteenth in retail. Okay. So this is of interest to you. That's how you can locate it. Justin, thanks so much for giving us an overview of this expansion for Fireball Island. Thank and you all very of much. you. Thanks for watching.